Okay, this is from uh, Brown, chapter 10, number 39. I have taken the liberty of solving part A in two different ways to show you how the two different values of R that are popular in popular usage should give you the same answer. So in the first instance, well, first the question is, um, chlorine is widely used to purify municipal water supplies and to treat swimming pool waters. Suppose that the volume of a particular sample of chlorine gas is 8.7 liters at 895 torr and 24 degrees Celsius. Part A asks how many grams of chlorine are in the sample. So we're trying to solve for the grams of chlorine, which means we're going to find how many moles of chlorine. That's the uh, entry point for the solving of the problem. So we're going to solve for n. We isolate the variable n by putting pb over rt. We transpose the variables on this side to that side. And we, so the first section, I've solved it the way we're used to, where we have 895 over 760 to convert tor into atmospheres. We want to have liter atmospheres in the numerator. Um, and we use this value of R, 0 0.082057. Actually, I used uh, just up to 5. I didn't put in that 7 in the uh, calculation. Uh, converting the temperature, the Celsius temperature has to be converted to the absolute temperature scale, 297.15 Kelvin. If it's uh, zero degrees, it's 273.15. So we add 273.15 to the Celsius temperature to convert to Kelvin. You will get that there are 0.4202 moles of chlorine gas. We then multiply by the molar mass of chlorine gas to give 29.8 grams of chlorine is present after significant figures are uh, accounted for. We can solve the same problem using a different value of R. 8.314 kilopascal liters per Kelvin mole is the other uh, popular quantity of, of use for R. But this time we have to turn Tor into kilopascals. So the conversion factor is 101.325 one, uh, kilopascals, which is equal to one atmosphere, is also equal to 760 Tor. So that's how that conversion takes place. When you're solving these things, you should check your units to make sure everything cancels out properly. Kilopascals should cancel with kilopascals. Uh, Kelvin is cancelled with Kelvin. Here you're solving for N. So you should end up with only moles in the final answer. Everything else should cancel. Liters cancel with liters. So the final thing that's left is moles. And your, answers your answer has to be a mole. Notice how you get the same answer, 0 0.4202. Uh, there's a slight difference in the later parts of the answer because I didn't use all the, uh, the exactly accurate value of R. I suspect that this value is also uh, several decimal places are missing, so that creates a slight uh, difference in the number in the answers you'll get, but not a significant difference. That's the important thing. So we get the same number of moles of chlorine, which will give you the same answer for the number of grams. In the second part of the question, part B, it asks, what volume will the chlorine gas occupy at STP? STP means standard temperature and pressure. You should memorize what that means. It comes up often. STP means 273.15 Kelvin, also equal to 1 zero degrees Celsius, and one atmosphere pressure. We have the uh, ideal gas equation, PV equals NRT, and we're going to solve for V. They're asking us for the volume of the gas under those conditions. So, B, we enter all the numbers in. We can get the moles from our previous part where we calculated the number of moles for chlorine. Uh, the value of R the number of Kelvin, and then one atmosphere pressure. That's standard atmospheric pressure. We get 9.4 liters is the volume. In the part C, they're asking us for the temperature of the gas under, these, under this set of conditions, 15 liters, same number of moles. And again, we rearrange PV equals NRT to solve for the variable that we're looking for. Enter in all the numbers, we get 501 Kelvin. The last part of the question, they're asking us what the pressure is under the similar conditions, except this time the temperature is 58 Celsius. So we simply convert the Celsius temperature into the absolute temperature scale, and we're also asked to do it with a volume of 6 liters. The final result is you get 1.9 atmospheres as a pressure. Now, if you were asked in an exam, what's the pre report the pressure in kilopascals, it's important for you to know how to convert from atmospheres to kilopascals. So again, I stress that it's important for you to know that one atmosphere 
is equal to 101.325 <coughs> kilopascals, that is equal to 101,325 pascals. Also, that is equal to uh, 760 tor, which is equal to 760 millimeters Hg, which, uh, now these are the most commonly used units. Sometimes you'll see 29.92 inches of mercury. Sometimes you might even see 14.7 pounds per square inch. And you'll also see bar, which is 1.01325 uh, bar. I forget now if it's a capital B or a small B, you can put that on. Was, this should be memorized. It should be committed to memory so that you don't suffer anxiety every time you see a pressure unit that is not familiar. 